Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know him. That's Jake. You know what I did for the first time in five months today? You got up early. And I had to get kids ready for school. My son, he's easy. Fixing to be 14 years old, he gets up. My daughter, who's 10, going on 25. Jake, listen to me. Hair had to be perfect. The curls weren't right. The skirt was too long. The shirt was not right. The band-aid on her knee was crooked. Hey, you know what the scripture says. No, I don't very read much of it. Early, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, yeah. Jesus got up to went to a quiet place where he prayed. Oh, yeah. See, if you'd have been doing that for the last five yeah. months, you wouldn't have been frustrated that's like good. this. That's yeah, a, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's a good, good lesson. That's called a Jesus that's juke. A good I lesson. did a Jesus juke right there. That's a good right lesson. Uh, hey, Summit, we got a lot going on this week, and Jake's going to be sharing with you a couple things. I want to celebrate. Uh, what happened last Sunday? Uh, it was night. incredible. Uh, we gave away those school supplies. School supplies. And, you know, Jake, they were lined up double cars they in were. The rows all the way around, all the way over to the bank across yeah. the street. If you drove by, you saw that, and all the sponsors that were a part of that. Man, we're so grateful for all that took place. Monday, I Ooh. saw more stuff going yeah. out. Uh, what do we think? Maybe a hundred and well, we made. I think maybe? we made we made like a hundred and seventy-five or two hundred bags. So ministerial of speaking, we gave out 350 a thousand, bags of school supplies. A thousand. We, we met a thousand yeah. Needs. Right. So, so maybe about 150 uh, is what we're thinking, and uh, we don't know. And, and honestly, the numbers don't matter. The point is, is we got the love on this community, and it was so fun to see those kids come through and those parents come yeah, through, it was awesome. and just how excited they were uh, that they were getting this opportunity. And so, we want to say thank you to you, uh, your generosity, along with the partnership of this community. Uh, we got to provide that, and so we celebrate that, and we're excited for that. Um, and so just before Jake shares about small groups, let me remind you, share this video on all your platforms, on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, um, uh, Instagram. Yeah, maybe uh, Instagram. Can you Snapchat these things? I don't uh, know. If you still have a MySpace. Yeah, my, oh, that's a good yeah. one, MySpace. And we could put some music to it. Jake, tell us about what's fixing to happen in a week from Sunday. A week from Sunday, August 23rd, we're going to give you an opportunity to register for small groups. Um, man, I was, I'm, I'm ready for that. I was really excited because as I've been visiting with our small group leaders, a lot of our groups are not going to be accepting new couples. And that's actually a good thing because they're full. Yeah. Like there are so many people in these small groups, which tells me a lot of our people are already connected in small groups. So I've got some new small group leaders that are coming up and I've got some new groups that are forming. And then I've got some existing groups that will be open for new members. And so on August 23rd, you're going to have an opportunity both in person at the church and virtually online to register for a small group. That's and so good. if you're out there right now and you're thinking, I definitely want to be a part of a small group. I don't want to wait till the 23rd. Jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. Send me an email. Had somebody reach out to me last week and said, I live in Haynesville. I'm looking for a group. I emailed uh, the, the, the Corrigans that have a group in Quitman, yeah, yeah. already getting uh, that couple plugged That's in. Good. I'd like to do the same for you. Uh, but 23rd, we're going to be casting a big small group vision, man. Man, I can't wait. I can't I'm going to be preaching that Sunday. I'm excited about that. Hallelujah. Too. I'm excited about that. Hey, and this Sunday, I'm going to be preaching about service for such a time as this. And so we're going to be talking about how to plug in and how to serve as, as believers in Christ. The last two weeks, we talked about the Great Commission. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to be talking about serving and uh, on that small group Sunday there will be also opportunities for you to sign up to serve from sound booths to first impressions to food ministry to backpack programs because we're not sure what that's going to look like this year or how that's going to we're going to do them I've um, talked to the school. We're going to do them. We're either going to be sending them to the schools or we're going to be having them at the church for pickups. So there will be a need for that. Yeah. So just, just be ready for that for the next two weeks. And, and, and I want to say this, if you can't join us in person, join us online, do a watch party, uh, get, get on Facebook, early Facebook and start inviting your friends. If you're not going to be able to be there, choose a service nine or 11, invite them, bring them to that watch party there online. And then you guys can kind of talk about what's being said on Sunday and sharing and music and all that good stuff. It's kind of, a cool deal and you guys can interact in that but you can also interact with us online and our online team uh, who is uh putting all those slides up and points and pictures and all that good stuff. So uh, I encourage you to do that um, for the for for uh, this Sunday. 
You know, Jake, this is an interesting time because um, we've just come off a five month long break for school kids, <laughs> you know, and um, that's amazing. Uh, it, it's, it's been fun for us. I think y'all have enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been spend time. great. <laughs> but you know, here, here's what I know is um, there's, there's going to be a lot of opinions that come up over the next few weeks about how the school's running and what they're doing and what they're not doing. And, uh, and anytime we have a burning issue like we have right now, I, I want to give you some encouragement. This week's been a fast, been a furious week. School starting. Uh, my brand new dishwasher went out this week, Jake. You're I not going to warranty it that? Nope, not going to warranty it. Got to take it back, get my money back. Uh, my coffee pot quit working this morning. That's worse uh, than the dishwasher. That is out. worse than the dishwasher. Hey, but good thing um, about your dishwasher going out, you've got three kids that are very capable truth, of hand washing dishes. Truth. Uh, the paint's peeling off my truck. Um, COVID. Um, all the stuff that's going on. And it looks like we're not going to have college football. Uh, it sure does. And that may be the civil war of our country. But anyway, I digress. Um, I, I, I was thinking last night, praying last week, uh, last night, and was really thinking about how fast things have moved over the last five months. It, never in my wildest dreams, in one, did I think we'd still be talking about COVID right now. Um, I really thought it would be done. We would be past that. But here we are. And, and it doesn't seem like it's getting better necessarily from an opinion standpoint because if you ask 10 people how they feel about it you'll get 10 different um, opinions uh, regardless of what the science says regardless of what the media says because the media says about 10 different things as well and I'll just go ahead and say that out loud so I've just been praying God how do we respond what's the best way and I got up this morning and a really really good friend of mine who I've learned from from years uh, had sent me a message last night and uh, it was just a screenshot of their um, quiet time that they were reading. In fact, they sent it to me this morning. It wasn't last night. They got up before you and I. Uh, yeah, What's exactly. Uh, I guess they love Jesus more, uh, and they went out and prayed while it was dark. But here's what it said. And I, I wrote this down because I wanted you to hear this because it spoke to me so greatly this morning. Here's what it says. It's from Henry Nowen, and it's on leadership. It says, Christians cannot simply be persons who have well-informed opinions about burning issues of our times. We must be rooted in the permanent, intimate relationship with the incarnate word, Jesus, and we need to find our source for our words, advice, and guidance there. Through the discipline of co contemplative prayer, Christians have to learn to listen again and again to the voice of love, and to find there the wisdom and courage to address whatever issues presents itself to them. Dealing with burning issues easily leads to divisiveness because before we know it, our sense of self is caught up in our opinion about a given subject. Boy, Jake, when I read that, I'm guilty. Oh, me too. Uh, in fact, I was guilty a week ago. I blew on it. Sunday. I blew it uh, yesterday. It's, it's just, it's so... Yeah. He goes on to say, but when we are securely rooted in personal intimacy with the source of life, Jesus, it will be possible to remain flexible, but not relativistic, convinced without being rigid, willing to confront without being offensive, gentle and forgiving without being soft, true witnesses without being manipulative. A lot of burning issues going on right now in our church, our world, our culture, schools, People are making decisions faster than they've ever had to make decisions in their life for their organizations, for businesses, for schools. Over the next few weeks, the school started yesterday and today, depending on where you are and where you're watching this, I would encourage you go back again and again in prayer and seek your guidance, your wisdom, and your response from Jesus. If that means you have to wait, wait, rest, contemplative. contemplative. Thank you. Prayer takes time. It's not something that you're going to go up through Burger King, drive through the drive through and get an answer. It means you're going to have to be abiding in Jesus. And so I encourage you in that this week, next week, as we move through this season of burning issue of what's going on, what's happening, and it changes day to day, hour to hour, slow down, get with the Father, I Jesus juked you a while ago that very early in the morning mm -hmm. Jesus got up, but that's true. He spent every morning with the Father. And if it was important for him to do that, it's even more important for us who are sinners, saved by grace, to spend time with him. Summit, I love you. 
And I know that some of you are struggling. Some of you are still fearful. New fears have come this week because of what's happened in your journey or maybe someone you know's journey. Rest in Jesus. He is our Savior, and He is the one that will give us comfort and peace. Don't let the self rise up during this season. But as He says, we have to learn to listen again and again to the voice of love and find there the wisdom and courage to address whatever issues present itself to us through him. So I'm going to love you. I cannot wait to see you Sunday. Got an exciting day planned. We cannot wait to see you do a watch party this Sunday. Jake's going to be preaching a week from Sunday. Can't wait to hear from him and what God's doing in him and small groups and what we've learned over the last five months. It's going to be good, Jake. Got anything else, bro? Yeah, I was noticing I put on some weight. Like, well, actually, I think your beard's filling out. Yeah, yours, is, yours is a lot longer. Your face yeah. is skinnier. Yeah. You're having a complex Hey, right you now. could join me every morning, two and a half miles, walking with Summit, me. Summit, we'll see you later. Bye.